And you know, packing is a very important part of your trip. If you're thinking about taking a, a vacation real soon, she has some very important travel hacks. Joining us right now, we have lifestyle and a travel expert with 20 York Street, Mary Lou Moles, joining us. Hello. Hello, Dee. How are you? No, I'm good. Uh, any big trips coming up? Oh, for my you? God, yes. We're going to Italy in March for this Tibex Travel Conference, so I'm so excited about that. You're always going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, let's talk about uh, bulky stuff because yes. I know you want to get that first out of the way. First things first. For a travel tip, this is exactly what you want to do is not pack these bulky items like your jacket. You have to wear this at the airport. The same as when you layer stuff like your blazer, for example. Mm -hmm. Do not pack that in your luggage. Put that on your person and travel with that. All right, put it on your person. Yes. <laughs> You've got these traveling tips I that do. everybody should know. Uh, okay, so you're not scrambling. That, so you're not scrambling. Make a list, first of all. Think of where are you going. Are you going for a summer vacation? Are you going somewhere warm? Or you need to go for a skiing um, destination, for example, mm -hmm. because that really you know, um, demands on what you're going to pack for that trip. Okay, when it comes to packing in layers, that's an important yes. thing to do. That'll save you space. Absolutely. So always pack, always wear the thinnest layer first, followed by, like, for example, what you're doing now. You have your blazer on, then you put your jacket on, then you put your... So you're doing perfectly. You think so? Uh, that's, yes. <laughs> well, that's good. And so, think about comfort, too. Yeah. Yes. So when you're talking about comfort, especially when you're traveling, you need comfortable shoes, right? Because mm -hmm. you're most likely going to be walking a lot, even though you're just in the airport, for example. Like, airports these days are so big, so you need a really good one. Like, you'll love the Skechers, for example, because they're so comfy, they're so stylish, but at the same time, they're so spacious. And what I tend to do with traveling is to pack as many things as I can. Like, for example, these socks. Okay. You can actually roll them and put it inside. I would have never thought of that. That is what you call a hack. It is a hack, and I love this hack for sure. That's amazing, because it will save you a space. So you can oh, absolutely. cram just anything into that shoe, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. So you just rolled there. Uh, rolling and not folding is yes, an important thing to do. that's the one thing I wanted to show you. So a lot of people are saying that rolling is actually better than folding. I have two things here for you. This is a rolled one. Okay. And this is the folded one. Okay. So these are thick items, and there's about five sweater in here. There's about five in there as well. But if you had have folded these, it wouldn't have fit. So this is the folding, and this is the rolling. Okay. And you can see right away when you're dressing up to your destination, you can just pick out, oh, I want a black sweater today. So you can see it's it right here. quicker. You can see it quicker. Is another, is another yes, way indeed. To, that's a hack again. Mm -hmm. I love these. Okay. Uh, check your packing list a couple of times. Super yes. important, right? Because you do not want to get to where you're going and you forget something because one, they might not have it. Two, it must be, might be very, very expensive yeah, to get it there. You don't want to have to do that. So you want to have to check your twi tw list twice at check least. It twice, okay. That's right. Uh, baggage airline fees uh, are oh, very important. Yes. Their policies, obviously, because you don't want to pack too much. That's correct. Could, once again, extra cash oh my goodness these days it's so expensive to travel so if you can keep your luggage to just a carry-on do that and that's why it's important that when you travel with products for example you have to make sure that you're under that 100 ml for example this soap and glory hand cream you can do it as a double purpose you mm -hmm. can do it as a cream for your hands but also for your entire body and this passes airport security really? so you don't have to check it in okay couldn't you just use the stuff at the hotel you could use too, but sometimes, you do that. You yeah, know. Okay. you know. Need your fancy stuff. Yes, uh, indeed. Washing your clothes on the road is actually something that, that helps you out because yes, free facilities. Yes, perhaps. especially if you're doing longer trips, you cannot possibly pack your entire closet, right, Dylan? So pick something that's easy to wash as well. It's fast to dry up. Something like those air dry, that will be perfect for your trip. Okay, so that helps out. Yes. Uh, dual purpose garments. Oh my goodness, now, dual purpose. That's important, yes. obviously, because uh, two birds, one stone, sort Correct. of. Correct. Yeah. Something like reversible um, blazers, for example, yeah. dresses that are one color on one side and then you flip it, it looks like an entirely uh, different dress. The other thing you can do is that if you're going somewhere fancy, for example, you can wear some, you can do this poppy and ponies bag, it's a clutch, but you can also put a lot of your pro cosmetic products when you're packing. You can roll those socks up That's again. That's right, you can roll those socks up again and put it right here. <laughs> socks should be clean though when you do that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Depends, depends on the person. Yes, indeed. Okay, uh, essential items shouldn't be uh, checked. Absolutely. You should bring them with you because, well, there's one main reason, I think it's common knowledge, but... 
mm -hmm. people will maybe lose them. Well, that's the thing. People may lose them. It might get stolen. <laughs> not saying airlines Passports are, that, right? are no, that's not. But you just never know when you're traveling. Sometimes, so you want to make sure that you have it with you. You have it with you in the air, airplane, for example. Okay, we have about a minute left here. Yes, I, a minute I want left. To get to packing so, cubes. packing cubes. These are examples of packing cubes. This is one you can just buy it from your local dollar store, for example. It's really, really cheap. Or my hack again. You can do Ziplocs as well. Okay. Especially if you're traveling. So you can put, for example, you know, your uh, makeup kits in here. When it spills, it's already in a plastic, so it's not even going to cause damage in your bag. Okay, and then you won't get in trouble at the airport either? You won't get in trouble in the airport because these are actually about the same size as a, as a CATSA approved one at the airport. The other thing you can do is that when you buy products, again, make sure that they're dual purpose. You can get this makeup bags from Coke Cosmetics, for example, but they can also be products that you can put your, all your other products in. Amazing. All right. Yes, indeed. Helpful tips, hacks, as mentioned. Thank you very much. Mary Lou Moles, 20York.com for more details. You're great. Yeah. More daytime coming up on Rogers TV.